Hi guys, it's Chrissy with Chrissy's Divine Design Tarot, and today we are doing a reading for V and his future wife or spouse. So let's get the energy here for him and see what comes up. I want to thank each and every one of you for subscribing, liking, and sharing. Um, I noticed that we have a lot of people viewing. Um, can we get the likes up, guys? <laughs> I always say it at the end, and maybe I should be saying at the beginning of the videos. Uh, if you haven't done so, please consider doing so. Let's look here. The Spirit Whisper, Divine Guidance, Higher Knowing. I like that. Wow. Number three. And I believe that is like creativity, groups, growth, getting out there, I guess you could say. And the Horse King, assistance and control. And that's number six. And that's like cooperation, harmony, restoration. Let's get a couple more for V and we will get some for his future wife. Okay. And we have the Ice Queen. Let's see. Ideas preserved. Non-action entitlement. Ay, ay, ay. And that's number 10. So it might have been something that has just finished a course here. Like he just finished something in his life. The number 10 which is completion, the end of a cycle, renewal. Okay, we have the Eagle, Eagle King for his future wife, the big picture, angelic help. Number three as well, which is that creativity, groups and growth, getting out there. The High Lady of Love and Compassion, reverence, kindness, and consideration. Number one, new beginning opportunities and potential. Okay. <laughs> All right, what else do we have here for the future wife? Spirit, angels, thank you. Gaia's Garden, fruition, abundance. Reaping what you sow. Number nine, fruition, attainment, fulfillment. I like it. So somebody's coming into something here that they planted seeds for possibly earlier on. Let's move those out of the And let's see, what do we have for the two of them? The Lady of Lightning, surprise, something, sh oh, sometimes shock, total paradigm shift. It's 35, which equals eight. Mastery, action, resolution. Hmm, interesting. Okay, let's see what we have in store for them. Hmm, power and chaos, conflict and competition, some judgment here and the star, wish fulfillment. So it looks like something has come to an end here for V. Um, let's see, he could have been uh, being guided from spirit and getting that assistance from his angels and spirit guides to close out a cycle. Now it's time for a new beginning because when you close one door, a new door opens. The tower is the universe changing something that wasn't meant to happen. So now, or for something to come together. Now there might be some competition over one of these people or even both. Uh, they both could have other people pursuing them on each side. Let's see, let's look at her. The big picture, angelic help. Yeah, so I kind of feel like she's similar mind um, set, mindset. Um, that angelic help makes me think that she's possibly quite pure and 
well, pure at heart, not necessarily pure in in anything that she's done, but just pure in the sense of pure love, pure heart, pure good. He wants to see the good in everyone. Let's see. And this one here was kindness, consideration. Yeah, I kind of feel like uh, that healing quality. And when I see Gaia's garden here, I automatically think of Earth Angel. And fruition, abundance, reaping what you sow. So if you've been doing what you're meant to do, you will get rewarded by the universe. And I kind of feel like, hmm, definitely an earth angel. And I kind of feel like this is a judgment, like uh, something that's meant to happen this way. Divine guidance and just that whole idea of maybe reflection or letting go of things that no longer serve you, considering your path that you want to go down. You want things to take flight. You don't want to put yourself in a box. Face your fears. And the star, this is two, three arcanas that are major arcanas. So, with the judgment, star, and the tower with conflict and chaos here. Now, what was meant to change will. There could be some kind of distraction or something to try to get you off your path. Uh, away from maybe your calling or the path you're meant to go down. And with the star, I mean, it's letting go. It's a confidence builder. It's peace and healing. I kind of feel like she's part of that. She might even be a star herself. She may have things that she does the two together? Oh, a new beginning. <laughs> I like it. Wow. So this is the future wife. So let's get some clarification on this. Hmm. The lovers. Quickly. Proposal, possibly. Hmm. Let's see, what's the tower about, please, spirit? Ah, the emperor. And, ooh, judgment or justice. Could be dharma. It could be something that uh, is coming in as a part of good karma, right? Which is dharma, right? So, five of wands. Why is that here? Oh, the sun and... Oh, somebody's watching. So, I kind of feel like, um, wow, three more major arcanas here. Now, this is uh, balancing the scales here for a happier time and finding something to share that with, I feel like. He's watching and hearing about other people. Maybe people are gossiping or kind of feel that with all those birds there. Possibly, um, maybe even rising up to go after something or seeing something he wants to go after. Could be a lot of competition here. Let's see, what's the judgment? Whoa, Hierophant, King of Swords. Hmm. So it could be that this person, this future spouse here, could have been engaged or married at one point to someone else. Is done the healing and is a wounded warrior. They could have been um, with the judgment card there. It could be where there's some letting go of this marriage 
with this purse and cutting cutting this marriage out it was no not a good marriage maybe huh what's the star yeah there was some kind of shady things going on here uh, to do with money Yeah, tempting for the money here. Maybe knew that she was getting an inheritance or something was pouring in for her or coming in for her. Let's see. Why is the Seven of Swords here? Working together. This could have been uh, not necessarily a marriage. It could have been a contract, a business contract, where they're meant to work to build this Ten of Pentacles. What's going on here? Hmm. Something's coming in. That's going to help with this. Let's find out what the Emperor and the Justice is about. What is the Emperor and the Justice? Ah. Yeah, there might have been some secrets or deception in the past. Oh, yeah, and ended it. Ended it, for sure. Now, I don't feel like the Justice was somebody dying or anything like that, so it wasn't anything like that. It was just the end of that relationship, whatever it was. Yeah, it's back working. It's making him happy. He's watching something. Ah, something of heartbreak here. Hmm. Could be watching what's going on here or watching this past person. Ace of Wands, wanting a new passionate beginning or has an epiphany or some type of idea. Let's see, what is the fool about? Why is the fool here for the two of them? Ah, the lovers. Mmm. Making a choice. Okay. Oh, and judgment. This could be a renewal. Um, this could be something that is um, a calling for both of them. Maybe a destination. Maybe something they are supposed to do together. To face a challenge or enforce change of some sort. It could be divorce on this. Well, no, that's not, that's not divorce. That's just change. I kind of feel like something's going on here though. Let's see, what is this Seven of Swords about? Why is that here? Ah, something from the past. Somebody tricked from the past. Magician, hmm. That's usually somebody that can create their own new opportunities or new beginnings, like has talents and skills. I'm wondering if she's thinking of someone else to come in from the past to help her with this. Or this is somebody from the past that tried to trick her. Maybe this King of Swords here.
Now remember, the Emperor can uh, embody all of the kings in the deck, but I don't believe that's him here. I think this is something that's in the past now, this part. I kind of feel like this is more something that has happened recently. Maybe she is manifesting something new here. Just be careful of any contracts. Um, the future spouse, please, if you're watching. <laughs> All right, let's see what else there is here. Um, one more card for the fool, please. What else for the fool for the two of them to come together? Mm. Okay, it's too many. Well, that's upside down. I'm going to leave it that way. Okay. Um, somebody that has courage, but maybe had some things happen in the past. Looks like somebody cheating with the Three of Cups in reverse. I believe that's adultery. It's quite a burden, and usually this is not paying attention when it's uh, upright. So I'm going to say they are paying attention to what's happened in the past. So I kind of feel like if this is something that's happened in the past. It could be that it's people reflecting on their hurt, not wanting to have that in this new relationship, making it a choice to, to choose each other. Let's get some other cards here. Do they dream about each other? Do they dream about each other? Okay, well that doesn't really tell us anything. It tells us that in the summertime, three to six months, they're going to meet. Now this could be in two years, could be two months, Cancer, Leo, and Virgo. Summertime. So, something to do with the summer. Do they dream about each other? 50 50. <laughs> Things are fluid. Okay. Yeah, they're both healing, so they're not really thinking about love yet. So this 50-50 kind of tells me that I think once they maybe reconnect, if they know each other, if they are from the past, I kind of feel like this is a past person that was trying to trick them out of some money here. Maybe changing a destiny here that wasn't for them. This kind of tells me too that um, they're going to work past this, they're going to figure out some other way of doing their purpose without anybody getting involved that's shady. I think both sides have had the same kind of hurt and getting over things, um, things not working out, just enjoying what they're doing, maybe moving away from certain people. That's another thing I can ask here. Are they going to have children? Can you tell me if they're going to have children? Huh. Uncertain at this time the situation or outcome is undetermined. And if they are, it will be in the winter within t 9 to 12 months. And it could be four years from now. Capricorn, Aquarius, and Pisces. So it looks like Spirit's not going to let me know here. 
of what's going on. Uh, probably maybe because they haven't met yet. When will they meet? Can we get some clarification on that? One year from now? I kind of feel like it's one year. A year and under. No? Okay, it hasn't unfolded yet, so... So what's the one about then? Can I roll again? <laughs> three. Is that three months? Three years? Can I get a yes or no, please? It's a yes. Three months, three years, so is it three years then? Yeah, I kind of feel like one to three years. Hmm. Let me find out a few things here. How will they fall for her? How will they meet up? Like, how will they fall in love? What's going to happen? The universe. Ah, law of one, could be an awakening, it could be a creative force that brings them together, kind of feel like it might be on um, a vacation of some sort, a Scorpio number seven, is it, shooting star, quick action, wish granted, so it might be something that one of them wishes for. Wish granted. Quick action. Aries. Okay. Um. Ooh. Grapes. Abundance bearing fruit. Surplus. Enjoy the fruits of your labor. Yeah, I kind of feel like that. That could be. Uh, uh, <laughs> they do well working. Um, I'm wondering when they get together though. What, what are you going to tell me about them getting together? Sudden and unexpected. So it's going to be like a surprise. So it's going to be something that all of a sudden happens. And they're not, not expecting it. This is going to be something when they're not really looking for it. Let's see, what's their career endeavors like? Oh, wow. Wow, we got lots of messages here, let's see. True North, Discovery, Life Path. Okay, so they're going to find each other when they find their life path. It's going to be something that they do perhaps meet up to do something else and end up falling in love. Balloons, yeah, fun vibing. They're going to be, yeah, stress-free, letting go, independence. I kind of feel like it's going to be something of um, a high vibing atmosphere where they both ascend to the same level. They need to both get to the same, they could be now. Birdcage, possessive, codependent, clingy, okay. So there could be somebody here that is trapping this woman with some bad behavior here. Maybe has her trapped in a job or something here. Baggage, uh, yeah, unresolved. Prepared to go to the next phase, long journey. And I kind of feel like with the suitcases in there, it is going to be a vacation that um or she moves to a different area to a different house somewhere she can put down roots maybe that's how they meet or they meet somewhere in that i still feel like it's a vacation though as well maybe they get a house together let's see what can you tell me when they meet how will they fall for her Ah, uh -huh. ship going places, adventure, vacation. I knew it. Thank you, spirit. 
for confirming. I knew it. So it's a vacation. I feel it is something maybe overseas travel, uh, vacation, movement, trip, vehicle, adventure, going places. So the baggage there, I feel like it's being left behind, but the baggage for the suitcases is going somewhere where they meet. They meet on a vacation. Maybe one moves over to that area after the vacation. Memories, remembering. Yeah, I kind of feel like after the vacation, they can't stop thinking about each other. Maybe they end up... Um, <laughs> maybe, oh, that's the observing. <laughs> that's where that... Um, yeah, the King of Swords is here. <laughs> so, wow. Seems like a lot of happiness I'm feeling with this. What's her energy like? What is she like? Divine feminine. <laughs> Intuition, subconscious, romance, affection, recognition. I kind of feel like it could be a past um, life love. Somebody they've done this before within l other lifetimes where they've vowed to find each other. What's this? Celtic knot, unconditional love, divine union. Yes, love of a lifetime. This to me does feel like divine feminine, divine um, masculine with the emperor here and the divine feminine here. I kind of feel like it's something that once they meet each other, they're both in that high vibe where they're both at that same level. She's just got to move away from this. Her energy needs to come up, but it doesn't until she gets out of that situation. What else can I tell them? Coin toss, okay. Can't decide, take a chance. Okay, so they're both, um, I, I kind of feel like, do I do this? Do I not? It's like, do I take the chance? Do I just stay where I'm at? And it's like a coin toss here. She could be a Virgo. I've seen Virgo a couple times now. To be fair, pros and cons, fate. But it is fated, so she will go. A lot of twos there. Unconditional love, romance, soulmates, uncommon bond, devoted. I can't make this up. So this is meant to happen. Another Celtic cross here. Wow. This is definitely divine. Yes. Feminine energy. Absolutely. Fi uh, fiance, spouse, love interest. <laughs> I love it. Okay. Um, what are her, fair, uh, her characteristics? Her physical characteristics? Okay, so it's just going to tell me there's going to be perfect timing. So I don't even know if they're really going to tell me when this might happen. What's on the bottom of the deck? Yoga. So this person here could be very spiritual. Could be that's what she's working towards. Maybe a business uh, venture to be spiritual. She could have some income coming in that's allowing her to uh, buy a house and go on vacation. And she looks like she practices meditation, doing chakras, could be crystal work. She could be a yoga teacher. She could be a Libra. For three to four years, I keep thinking that. Secrets lifted. I wonder if there's some type of confusion here on a direction to go. I kind of feel that. Let's see, what does the angels have to say about this? What's going on here? Can you tell us? Hmm. Ascended Masters. 
powerful, loving, and wise spiritual teachers are watching over and guiding them. So I kind of feel like she's really tapped in here. And I kind of feel like he might even be spiritual himself. What do we have for him? What do we have for him? What do we have for B? Oh. <laughs> Singing and dancing. <laughs> Imagine that. <laughs> Express yourself and awaken your psychic senses through magic, magical power of music and vo movement. So that could be a way that he connects to his um, inner self, right? That higher self. Base chakra, choose any positive thoughts to describe your own career finances as your words determine your outcome. So by keeping positive, they're both going to come together, I kind of feel, with especially with them having the singing and the dancing, the ascended masters helping, they have angels and spirit guides around them with their spirit whisperer, the earth angel here, she could be um, a Capricorn, Taurus, or a Virgo, um, as an earth angel, I'm kind of feeling, is the temperance here? I don't think the temperance angel is here, but it's still the Gaia garden. I kind of still feel like that. What other messages? Okay. Cut your cords. Yeah, I kind of feel like it's right in here. This, she's going to see this um, toxic behavior she was in. The part where she's still a wounded warrior, but I feel like she might know her course of action to do. And it might be as simple as her flicking the coin to see where she goes. Do I go this place or this place? And she's gonna flick a coin to determine where she goes for vacation. She needs to cut those cords. I kind of feel like she will be led to do so by her ascended masters. Ask Archangel Michael to clear any old attachments to fear that stem from the past relationships, freeing you from the destructive patterns. Because believe it or not, uh, we all have patterns based on what we've been through. So we kind of adapt and find a way of getting through things. And by having those behaviors stuck to us in a sense, we also have to remember that that is no longer needed. When you're not with that person anymore, you don't have to be in that mindset. Cut the cords from the past and the past behaviors for sure. If you got nervous, focus on service. Put your entire intention on answering the question, how can I make the world a better place? And the law of attraction will automatically take care of your needs. And that is, this is all divinely guided here and they are working hard behind the scenes to bring these two together. Uh, hmm. What love messages do they want to give each other? Oh boy, that was a lot. Spirit, can I just get a couple? <laughs> These are very slickery and hard to kind of shuffle around here. Oh, we got this in here too. <laughs> Let's see. Past life soulmate. Are you kidding me? I kind of picked up on that. Like they knew each other from a past life. Didn't I say that? I'm sure I said that. So they've known each other in other lifetimes. That is so cool. Are they going to have any children? Only one. <laughs> okay. They're going to have one child. And what is the message from each other? Okay, I'll take that one. Embrace. Through each other, you find the missing pieces. Now, this is kind of making me feel like that um, path they're meant to go down uh, to do something, to make the world a better place. Transformation, your relationship with one another is about to deepen. Love conquers and transforms all things. So <clears throat> once they get together, I kind of feel like they're both going to be transformed out of this negative mindset of being hurt, getting hurt, having being adult, have other people committing adultery, giving them burdens, or for them 
paying attention more to the people around them, seeing things that they may not have seen before. And by paying attention to your surroundings than you normally don't, you're going to see things that maybe you weren't seeing before. And it's funny how things like that happen. I actually had a subscriber tell me, look, I, I watched a, one of your videos and I was paying attention and I realized that my boyfriend was actually sleeping with my sister. And it wasn't until the moment that she realized that she needed to pay attention to the things around her, she was seeing things that she didn't want to see. Her intuition was telling her, but she was suppressing her intuition. She wasn't listening to her intuition. So to me, by paying attention to your surroundings, it's going to tell you a lot about the people that usually know that you don't pay attention and that is when you're going to see things that spirit really wants you to realize okay let's see what else is going to happen for these two sorry i kind of went off on <laughs> on a bit of a thing there oh wow sacred union on the bottom of the deck honor treasury relationship for it is truly sacred so wow this is definitely a sacred union this is something the this meant to happen for the two of them to come together to do something together that will change the mindset of people on this earth to make it a better place for people to realize that your angels and ancestors are always trying to get a hold of you if you can just listen or or see the numbers look them up what do they mean ask your angels and ancestors and spirit guides um, what do I need to know and look up those numbers and usually there's only four numbers one to nine and then it's so the highest number I believe for angel numbers is nine 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 so yeah I mean roll some dice find out what the first four numbers mean or however you want to do it uh, but they're gonna give you messages and it's funny because depending on what you ask and I gotta tell you spirit is quite humorous <laughs> and you're and you're gonna go oh really spirit like <laughs> I'm not kidding because like some of the things I've asked I said, okay, what's my, my angels, my spirit angel or my um, spirit guide's name? And lo and behold, the number that they told me, I looked it up and it actually had your spirit's name, your spirit angel or your spirit guide's name is, and it gave me a name and, <laughs> and then another name there. I didn't just have one. And it was like, oh my God. So, and I'm, I'm not kidding, I was blown away by this. So, they are trying to tell you things. Just saying. <laughs> well, <clears throat> what is this? Look deep within your heart and you will feel my love. My love for you as as deep as the ocean. Oh my God, this is so awesome. Like, this connection, I'm feeling like, I can't describe how I'm feeling. It's like, um a fork like it's beautiful it's um something that you it's like a fairy tale kind of feeling like love at first sight and that magnetic pull like that real big pull i don't know if anybody's ever experienced that where you've been around somebody and their energy is kind of like intoxicating and you're like almost dumbfounded feeling i i, mean, I don't know how else to explain explain it but it's like something like you can you feel it like throughout your whole body it's not just something you see it's something you actually feel you know that love for somebody and you know it was sad I ran into somebody that I thought I knew and I realized something about them that they'd never ever had love in their life like real love until they met me 
and I was just, I was heartbroken by that. I just thought, that's terrible to go that, those many years in your life and not ever feel that love and connection. And it was kind of sad, really. I, I really felt for them. Well, let's get back to this. Anyways, let there be closeness between you, but always give each other space. Love never claims, it simply allows and gives. And that's, that's, the, that's the only kind of love. It's not somebody that's jealous. It's not somebody that is trying to control you. It's, not so, it's something that when you come together, it's just so easy and there's no effort to it. It just all happens just beautifully and it's, it's really a beautiful kind of love, but you both have to want it. It can't just be one person and the other one not so much. It's got to be a connection that is really wanted by both parties, you know, and and having that same level vibe where it's a high vibration and that's when you're going to find it. When you're at a lower vibration now, it's always going to be a karmic cycle to learn lessons and stuff. And I feel like with these sacred unions, sure you're gonna learn <clears throat> you're gonna learn things along the way. Especially about each other. You're not it's not like it's you're not gonna have disagreements or anything. And I'm sure you probably will. But and you're gonna learn things about yourself. But it's not going to be like a karmic where it's a negative thing. It's gonna be a positive, uplifting cooperation. Let's do this. Let's do that. What do you think of this? And it's going to be a shared thing. It's not going to be, I'm saying we're doing this and there's nothing, nobody says anything else. This is what we're doing. And a one-sided thing. It's it's more of a, um, a cooperative thing where there's no resistance. It's just there. And it's a beautiful energy. Very beautiful energy. Uh, let's see, is there anything else here? Let's look at their purpose. Maybe there's something they're meant to do together. What do we got? Leadership. Yes, take charge of the situation. I kind of feel like that. They, they're they going to do something amazing here together. What else? Wow, that was fast. Spiritual teacher. I Didn't I see that? Like she was doing yoga and spiritual. And <laughs> That's maybe what they're meant to do. So maybe that's what she does and she teaches him and that's how they connect um, to maybe writing songs about spirituality or along those lines, you know, how, I don't know, maybe they're going to do a duet or maybe she sings too or, but they're very, there's spirituality here. I kind of felt that yoga teacher or maybe crystal work or definitely maybe uh, classes, sessions, and seminars. So, wow, could be somebody that travels. Maybe that's how they work. The baggage in the suitcases here. <laughs> Infinite abundance. Oh my God. <laughs> wow. You're fully supported as you devote yourself to your divine life purpose. Didn't I say they had a purpose together? Thank you, Spirit, for the confirmation. Wow, you rock. <laughs> Let's see. Light and love. Your purpose is to bring divine healing, light, and love to this world. See? Oh, my God. Like, yeah. I was saying that, wasn't I? Like, wow. This is like amazing thank you spirit for uh telling us exactly your infinite ability to build and create brings you deep sense of accomplishment builder so i kind of feel like they they're gonna build some type of spiritual something or other here um maybe it's a side hustle for him um uh, to get him out of singing uh, to kind of 
lift them up a bit, you know, build that uh, confidence or just that spirituality, I feel like. It's kind of like it's, um, build other people up, you know what I mean? Like, not necessarily a builder to do it like that, but building up the vibe, like, increasing the vibration, I kind of feel, within everybody on Earth. Like, this is a major thing, like, I kind of feel like these are star seeds here or sun seeds some type of light force to that energy to bring up the vibration for everyone to say hey look you know nobody believes in god anymore how come like why is this happening nobody's thinking along those lines anymore about how spirit is whether it's buddhism or any other relig uh, relig religion <clears throat> doesn't matter what you believe in as long as you're believing in that there's a higher power out there that is trying to communicate with us i mean that is what it's all about it's about learning how to live your best life and they're going to help you do that by giving you that positive mindset to say hey write down what you really want say it out loud what you really want in your life work towards what you really want and we'll help you get that and not everybody understands that if they feel you have to work hard to get your money yada 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 and that's simply not true by just living your best life is what spirit wants for you and if you're meant to do something of service this is the time to get started on it make your make your wishes and your make it all a reality what else can i do here i'm gonna do oh look at that we had another one here freedom you're free to do what you choose oh my god that's so awesome you guys so however they want to lift people up and get the vibration up is however they're going to do it and that's going to be up to them and of course they're not spirits not going to tell me when they're going to come together i mean i can try <laughs> rolling the dice again but i am i usually end up getting the same answer <laughs> over and over again okay spirit can you tell me when they might meet 12. Now that to me is a year so let's see is it going to be in a year that they meet is it going to be in a year that they meet spirit when will they meet is it a year yes or no answer please yes or no answer wait <laughs> you see what i mean <laughs> wait things will unfold i told you they're not gonna tell me and it won't matter how many <laughs> times i ask i will get 50 50 wait this will unfold naturally it's divine timing yada 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 they're not gonna tell me right now i don't know why that is but um there must be a reason so it's in the works of whatever is going on Maybe somebody is watching that might I might be giving this away <laughs> to I'm not really sure. <laughs> I love it though. <laughs> okay, let's see. Any other things that we can do here? We've kind of let's look at the physical aspects here. We have um blondish reddish hair here. We have dark hair. We have blondish color hair again. So I'm gonna say blonde, red, or light brown. I see another blonde here. Could be dyeing their hair. Maybe their hair is naturally dark and they are dyeing their hair. Maybe they've had a few different colors. This looks green to me. So maybe they've dyed their hair green, red, blonde, and had it dark. There's another red. So I'm kind of feeling like it might be and another red here. Another dark hair color here. Dark hair color here. 
What do we have for pentacles and stuff here? Those are mostly major arcanas. Wow. Okay, so we'll look at her side because we already know what he looks like. We have swords, wands, pentacles. What else? Cups, swords. So that's two swords, three swords, two pentacles, two cups. We got three swords. So I'm going to say that naturally her hair is usually dark and that's kind of what I picked up but I kind of feel like she has dyed her hair before and all those different colors so green red blonde and what else did I say blonde red oh and naturally green red blonde really light blonde and had had I feel like or even really red but I kind of feel like her hair is normally dark but definitely dyes her hair could be red um yeah and red here as well I kind of feeling more red than anything um what else uh could be Aquarius Gemini Libra uh could have blue eyes or wear blue contacts, pale skin, pretty fair, uh, pretty thin, long. Um, I'm, I'm going to say over m m medium height, over medium height. So for medium height and taller and thin. Yes. Yes. So that is what she looks like. Um, energy connection. It's a sacred union, so their connection is high level, um, especially with the Ascended mas Masters here. And how they fall in love, do we find that out? Um, oh yeah, they find each other in the vacation. And how do they treat each other? Very well, because I feel like they definitely transform once they get together yeah very deeply embracing very close closeness I feel like it's a really good energy I feel like she treats him well and he treats her just as good and I kind of feel like there's this really amazing dynamic between the two it is a past life soulmate, so this is somebody that has agreed to come back this lifetime and find each other once again to get married and have children with. And they will have one child. Let's see. Um, I want to see. I'm, I'm not really seeing, hmm, but she's also... Hmm. I want to see here. Is the child a boy? Yes or no, please. Is the child a boy? This is kind of what I'm feeling. Likely. <laughs> ah, spirit, it's developing. Ugh, I know. But are you going to tell me for sure? Still won't tell me a whole lot here. Is the child a boy? <laughs> likely expect the unexpected do you see the frustration sometimes that us tarot workers have we can't they're not going to tell us and of course that's not the question that i asked they won't they won't tell me so it's likely it's a boy um <laughs> with it being such a high sacred union um i kind of feel like they're gonna keep it on the hush hush they're not telling me when but although i do feel like it might be one to four years let's do this uh this will be it and i'll wrap this up for you guys how long has this been oh, oh my god it's almost been a whole hour <laughs> oh, wow okay these are the last cards here passion yes i really did feel that separation getting to know each other yes very soon and love yourself first okay 
So I'm kind of feeling like love yourself first is what she's figuring out. She's getting into her spiritual path. Um, I feel like they will be in separation after the vacation. So when they're in separation, I kind of feel like that whole idea of them not being together, like they're really meant to be together and that passion for each other is going to be huge. They want to get to know each other. They're, when they meet on this vacation that they go to, it's not going to be that far away that they meet. So maybe even next year, next spring, maybe next summer. So maybe even next September, October, I'm feeling. Not this one coming up, but the following one. Yeah, they want to get to know each other as much as they can on this vacation. And I'm wondering if it is a spiritual teacher um, type of class or session that they both end up going to and find spirituality. And maybe that's when they decide what they're going to do. Now, they have the freedom to do whatever they want as long as they're uh, increasing the vibration of the world. And it's all going to come together very soon. They just need to clearly decide what they want now so that it comes to them. So I'm going to leave it there. <laughs> This has been a great reading. I never intended it for it to go this long, however. So we're going to wrap it up now. And please like, share, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. I love each and every one of you. And I am so appreciated for all of the people supporting my channel. Thank you for the donations. It has helped to get more services and more perks for you guys. And one day I'm hoping to go live once I get things going here. And um, yeah, <laughs> it's close. I want to say thank you. Absolutely. All right. Take care, people. Stay blessed. And we'll see you next time. Later.